Once upon a time in a faraway land there was a dragon named Draco. Now, Draco wasn't your run-of-the-mill dragon. He had a peculiarity that made him stand out from the rest of his kin. Draco, you see, was allergic to pickles. Yes, you heard that right, pickles. This unusual allergy was something Draco was born with. It was discovered quite by accident when he was just a baby dragon. His mother, thinking that a crispy, juicy pickle would make a delightful snack, offered one to him. But as soon as Draco took his first bite, he started sneezing like a locomotive, and his eyes watered like he was chopping onions. As Draco grew older, his allergy only seemed to intensify. Even a faint whiff of pickles would send him into a sneezing frenzy, and cough, oh boy, it was like he had swallowed a feather duster. The other dragons, unable to understand his condition, would often poke fun at him. They'd call him names like Pickle Breath and Sneezy Dragon. This left Draco feeling quite self-conscious and isolated. He yearned to be like the other dragons, to be able to munch on anything without turning into a sneezing spectacle. This teasing and name-calling took a toll on Draco. It made him feel lonely, and he would often find himself wishing that he could be just like the other dragons. He longed to be able to enjoy a meal without any sneezing, without any coughing, without his eyes watering. He longed for the day when he could eat whatever he pleased without any repercussions. But alas, pickles were Draco's kryptonite, and he couldn't even bear to be in the same vicinity as them. And so, despite his wishes, Draco often found himself alone, unable to partake in the feasts and celebrations because of his unusual allergy. He often wished he could be like other dragons and eat whatever he wanted without any problems. One day the kingdom was under attack by an evil sorcerer who had sent his army of trolls to destroy everything in their path. Imagine a day when the sun's warmth turns cold, and the once peaceful kingdom is now a battleground. The air is thick with fear and anticipation as the dragons soar into the sky, their scales shining like armor as they prepare to defend their home. The trolls, under the command of the wicked sorcerer, show no mercy as they march forward, their eyes filled with malice. The dragons, in response, unleash a flurry of fire, their roars echoing through the mountains. It's a fierce battle, a clash of good and evil, a test of courage and strength. But there's one dragon missing from the battlefield. Our friend Draco, the dragon allergic to pickles, stands at the outskirts, a mere spectator to the unfolding chaos. The sorcerer, cunning as he is, has set a trap. The only way to disarm it is to eat a pickle, a task that seems simple for any dragon, but not for Draco. Draco's heart beats like a drum in his chest. He's torn between his fear of his allergy and his desire to join his friends in battle. He wants to fight, to protect his kingdom, but the thought of eating a pickle, the very thing that causes him so much discomfort, fills him with dread. His fellow dragons, aware of his predicament, try to convince him to eat the pickle. They urge him, coax him, even plead with him. But Draco, consumed by fear, can't bring himself to do it. He's too scared of the consequences, too scared of what might happen if he takes that dreaded bite. The other dragons tried to convince Draco to eat the pickle, but he was too scared of what might happen if he did. And so, Draco watches the battle from afar, his heart heavy with guilt and helplessness, as his kingdom continues to be under siege, and his friends continue to fight, unaware of the turn of events that's about to occur. As the battle raged on, Draco watched helplessly from afar, wishing he could do something to help. Despite his allergy, Draco's heart ached to join the other dragons in the fight. He was, after all, a dragon, and dragons were meant to protect their kingdom. Suddenly Draco's eyes widened as he spotted something strange on the battlefield. One of the trolls had hurled a jar of pickles at a fellow dragon. The jar shattered, scattering pickles all over the ground. The trolls who had been charging forward stopped abruptly. They started to sneeze and cough, their eyes watering uncontrollably. The sight was all too familiar to Draco. It was the same reaction he had when he got near pickles. A spark of realization lit up Draco's eyes. Like him, the trolls were allergic to pickles. This was the break they needed. This was the chance for Draco to help his fellow dragons and prove his worth. Without wasting another moment, Draco swooped down towards the battlefield, his wings spreading wide. Gathering all his courage, Draco snatched up a jar of pickles, his scales tingling at the mere touch of the jar. His heart pounded in his chest, but he didn't let his fear stop him. He soared towards the sorcerer's lair, the jar of pickles clutched tightly in his claws. As he reached the lair, Draco took a deep breath and hurled the jar at the sorcerer, who had been watching the battle from a safe distance. 
The jar shattered, releasing a cloud of pickle scent into the air. The sorcerer, caught off guard, began to sneeze and cough, his eyes watering. He was unable to cast any spells, his hands too busy covering his face. Draco watched as the sorcerer stumbled and fell, incapacitated by the pickles. He had done it. He had turned his weakness into a strength and used it to protect his kingdom. The sorcerer sneezed and coughed, his eyes watering and was unable to cast any spells. Draco had finally proven that being different was not a weakness, but a strength that made him special. And with that, he soared back into the sky, leaving the defeated sorcerer behind. The other dragons saw what Draco had done and were amazed. A wave of astonishment swept across the battlefield. The dragons who once teased Draco, now marveled at his bravery. The sneezing, the coughing, the pickle breath, all the things they used to mock, had turned the tide of the battle. A newfound respect bloomed in their hearts for Draco, the dragon who dared to embrace his difference. And from that day forward, the taunts and teases were replaced with cheers and admiration. Draco, once feeling isolated and self-conscious, now stood tall and proud. He had turned the tables, transforming his peculiar allergy into an unexpected strength. And in that moment, he realized an important truth. His uniqueness wasn't a weakness to be ashamed of, but a special strength that made him stand out. He wasn't just Draco the dragon, he was Draco, the dragon who saved the kingdom with a jar of pickles. And he realized that being different was not a weakness but a strength that made him special.